Welcome to the video tutorial of the Articulation Assessment Toolkit. My name is Barbara Fernandez. I'm the creator of the app. And today I want to guide you through a general overview of the application for those of you that don't already own the app. For more in-depth videos, please visit our website at www.smartyearsapps.com. This is a very comprehensive app, and therefore it would take a series of videos to actually show you all the features. But let's get started. The cool thing about this app is that it includes a variety of different articulation assessments to choose from. So let's start. I have already my profile here when I was six years and three months old. But generally speaking, whenever you have a new child to do an assessment, you're gonna go ahead and type the name. You can do the first name and initial the last name. You can take a photo or choose a photo from the library. I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate what that would look like here. So this is one of my photos. I'm gonna go ahead and then enter my the date of birth. And I select female, and the question is, is English this child's first language? In this case, I'm going to mark no because it's the case for me. Now, this is a profile that is empty, but I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my profile that I have created previously, and I'm going to click on Start Test. I want to show you that we have here a quick consonant screener, a full screener, an R screener, a sentence screener, and also an articulation and simulability test. The simulability test only becomes available after you have done either a quick screener or a full assessment. Let me start by showing you the full assessment. You have the option of including or not including vowels, so we're going to select that. Hot chocolate. You can tap on the image to hear the word being pronounced. And you have at the top a transcription of the hot chocolate. Let's say if the child made a mistake here at the final consonant. We tap on that, on that consonant and you will see here some options will be displayed. You can mark on the left side substitution, the list, a distortion or a deletion, which I'm going to go ahead and mark a deletion to show you what happens. Then that sound is live deleted on the screen. Then, if I tap on the H, I can mark an assimilation, stopping, or a distortion, it becomes yellow. Now, here on the other, the T, the CH, the chocolate sound, we can mark depalatalization. If you make a mistake and you want to change to defrication, it automatically changes to the sound that it was as the child was pronouncing that sound. Let's say here for this case, in this case, you ask the child, what is this? And the child will say pie and they'll say it correctly. You can move on to the next one. Here you have another image of which, and I want to show you a few things. If you tap on it, then the errors are associated to that specific sound. So you have assimilation to voicing. You can have a substitution here. So let's say this child said titch. You mark the T and as you can see, it replaces that sound directly on the screen. Instead of continuing, since this is a very quick video for those of you who don't already own the app, I want to go back here and show you what a full assessment would look like. So we have here a full assessment that I completed back in March. The raw score was 98. You have an overall intelligibility of 100% with a conversational speech intelligibility at 80%. It was fully completed. I can preview the results and I can show you guys the initial, medium, and final accuracy. By manner of articulation, you can also have details by manner of articulation, by voicing features, these specific words. And what I want to show you here, take a look at the word bicycle. Instead of bicycle, he said bicycle. So you have a substitution of P and then you have a voicing of 
also that happened instead of the K, it was the G sound. Then for fork, you have torque. You have here stopping for the T. And these are this is the list of the words that was um, assessed. The errors by place of articulation, by errors. So you can see, for example, that 17% were substitution, another 17% was stopping. Then we did a stimulability assessment, and these, uh, this is the result that we got from that stimulability testing. So the B, we saw that he was stimulable for B. Actually, this was not tested. Then the K, he was not stimulable. And this was a very um, random assessment that I did just to display on those results. But the cool thing here is we can preview report and take a look at what you get immediately after the assessment, a complete report of that child's production that you can print and share with the parents immediately after the assessment. This is a very comprehensive report. I'm gonna close here and show that you can share this via email, you can print, you can share it to a third party app. And we also get a sound profile here Basically, we get how they did on the two-year-old, two to three-year-old sound acquisition and the four-year-old. And you have here the key displaying the different errors based on that child's age. So you have here, in this case, a six-year-old. And we have some sounds here that don't get acquired or mastered until they're seven or eight. And you can show to the parent, especially if you have a younger child, how the different sounds get mastered at different, at different ages. And this is an incredible visual that you can give to the parents. Finally, I want to show you guys just a quick view of the R screener. You get to assess the different types of R. Then I want to show you the sentence screener. You have here the sentences with sounds that are organized in order of acquisition. So here in the sentence, we have a lot of M's, N's, and P's. Then if we go to the next, then we have the, the W, H, D, K's, and it starts going higher up on the acquisition. So we have here T's and, and G's, uh, K's, I and G's, clusters. And as in this case here, if the child didn't produce correctly, that sequence, that sound, you can just tap on it and marks it as red. Every time you do an assessment, if you can complete the whole thing in the beginning, you can see here I have a variety of incomplete assessments that I can just tap and get straight back to it. So that was it for a quick overview of the articulation assessment toolkit that you can find on the App Store by searching either our company name called Smarty Ears or by searching directly the app name. Thank you so much for watching.